Hi friends, I have a fun insect measurement sheet to do today. So, I have our pictures and you can find these um, in your packets at Outside or you can print them off um, the resources list. So, we just did a couple. So we have this, we colored them in. Um, we have a little ladybug, a little fly, and we did this little beetle and the bumblebee. So we're only gonna do just a few. You have more, um, but we're just gonna do a few to show you how it's done. So, in the instructions, it says to measure the insects using Unifix cubes, um, which are these right here. You can also use just a regular ruler or whatever you can find at home, paper clips, Legos, anything that you have that you can measure um, our cute little bugs and insects with. So let's get started. All right, so our first one we're gonna do is um, our little bumblebee. So I'm going to find my bumblebee. I think it's right here. I'm gonna use the Unifix cubes and I'll also show you how to do it with a ruler. So, I'm just going to line these up. You can click them together if you have these at home. If not, you can sit them down. But I'm just gonna kinda of go from his tail. Because each picture has a dot, either on the tail and the head, or on the head, and um, so that's how you're gonna measure from those little dots. So he has a dot here and a dot on his tail. So I'm kind of gonna start from his, from that dot, and I'm gonna go to this dot. So I'm gonna keep adding on until, oops, until I get to the end. And I think I have made it from dot to dot. All right, so now I'm going to count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my bumblebee on my sheet, I'm gonna record that he is a Unifix cubes long. So just like that. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do now the ladybug right here. So there he is right here. I'm gonna kind of measure with the Unifix cube. Oh, that one's too long. So I'm gonna do just like that. Put that one over here. And then I'm going to count again because I'm just measuring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So he was just one less than our bumblebee. I'll make sure I write it correctly since I'm writing backwards. All right, so next one I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to do our little blue uh, beetle. Looks like a beetle. So I'm going to find him. He's right here like this. I'm going to actually use a ruler this time just to show you a different way to measure. So when you do it, you want to find the zero. You want to put the zero line on the dot and then go to the other dot. And let's see from one dot to the next. He's about eight inches. So I'm going to say he's eight inches and that's using a ruler. So you can use whatever you have at home. All right, the next one I'm gonna do is this little fly, because he's really cute and small. I'm gonna go back to my Unifix cubes, and I'm just gonna see if I can get this correct without having to actually put them all together. And I think I did. He is only three Unifix cubes long. So I'm just gonna put a three right here. And then our last one, which is our big caterpillar. And he's super cute. I think I'm gonna use my ruler for this one. So I'm gonna use my ruler, anything you have at home. All right, I'm gonna put the zero on the dot. Just about there. And I'm gonna go all the way to the end and it looks like it's almost 11. I'm gonna say that my caterpillar is 11 inches long. All right, so once you do that and you complete all of your measuring, you can answer these questions down below. It says circle the insect that is the longest. So you would see, look at your numbers. Well, mine right now is this caterpillar with 11. So I would circle that one. 
And now we're going to answer this question. Circle the insect that is the shortest, the smallest. And if I look at my numbers, I have 11, 3, 7, 8, and 8. Well, my smallest number is 3 with my little fly. So I would circle that buddy. All right, so this is just a fun little insect measurement. Remember, you do not have to have these cubes at home. You can use anything that you have at home to measure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fun activity and we hope to see you soon. Bye friends.